everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're diving into some exciting Bridgerton news. Actress Nicola Coughlin recently revealed how she found out she was Lady Whistledown and shared some behind-the-scenes secrets about filming those steamy scenes. Stay tuned as we break down her candid chat on Seth Meyers and her interview with Stylist Magazine. Let's get started! And then I proceeded to tell everyone, so it was a surprise for nobody Nia Coughlin reveals she couldn't keep her Bridgerton secret. The Bridgerton actress recently sat down with Seth Mears on May 14th to discuss the moment she found out. She was Lady Whistledown in the season one finale, and although her character Penelope Featherington is very good at keeping secrets throughout the hit Netflix series, Nia admits she had some trouble. Yes, I found out in a super professional way, I found out a Reddit fan for him. Okay, because I, I googled it, goog, I googled it. And then I arrived day one, I was like, I was like, this is amazing, am I her? Like, is that me, do I get to? And they were like, yeah, you. And then I proceeded to tell everyone so it was a surprise for nobody and passed because I wouldn't stop talking about it. So it turns out you were terribly cast as someone who was good at keeping a secret. But also, I'm like, like technically I job share with Julie Andrews. Oh, you job share right this season. She is finally stepping into her own as the love story between Penelope and Colin, played by Luke Newton, is thrust into the spotlight if a husband is what you sing. Let me help you, oh we up, music friends, friends. And of course, Nicola knows that Bridgerton is known for their steamy scenes, something the Dairy Girls alum says she fully embraced, telling Stylist Magazine in a recent interview per People, I specifically ask for certain lines and moments to be included there's one scene where I'm very naked on camera, and that was my idea. My choice adding it just felt like the biggest you to all the conversations surrounding my body. It was amazingly owering. I felt beautiful in the moment, and I thought when I'm 80, 